This one tastes so good. Oh my god, you guys have to try it if you come to Peru. I'm excited. Ooh! 10 out of 10. Nice. This is so good. It's super soft. Mm. But little did we know, Peru actually won a prize for the best culinary eight years in a row. And they say that their secret is because of all of their sauces, their cilantro, all their the onion, their chili, right the, all the different sauces they have, especially at the local market. Today we are with Daniel and Hello. he will show us around. We're gonna explore food in Barranco. So the Barranco used to be the favorite destination for vacationers, like rich vacationers to leave the historic center and come down here. So that's why you kind of see a lot of huge mansions, boom, like the one behind me. And you see the old tram that's actually not working anymore. It used to work in the 60s, but now it's not working. Hola. Hola. Welcome. It's going to be my first time trying chorritos a chanalaca. A la chalaca. Do Don't ask me to say it one more time. Yeah, do it again. First impression, it looks a little bit raw. It's not raw, it's techni technically cooked. Okay. Because the lime juice. A mix of oh, coriander. Coriander, yeah. Coriander, Cilantro. lime with the spicy sauce and the corn. From what I know, really good. Peru have like 50 kinds of corn. So many kinds of corn. And this is our first time seeing black corn in Peru when we were wandering the market. Oh, I forgot. In Peru, you will see they serve this one called ahi. Um, fun fact, the last time that we went to the restaurant, they served the green one. You put a little bit of that in here. Yeah, you should put more. It's not spicy. Uh, well, I should I mix it up? No, or just, just like scoop it. And you're going to try to eat it all at once. You gotta try to eat it all. You gotta try to eat it all <laughs> once. All right. You don't have to do it, but that's how we do it. Okay, you do it. Oh my god! Tastes like tom yum. It's good. I don't think I can. I, I think told you. I think it's Peruvian skill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's so good. Oh. It is really good. Mm -hmm. If you like something limey, definitely you're gonna love this food for sure. I don't really tend to eat seafood while I travel, but this is phenomenal. At first I was surprised. I was like, oh, Peruvian food is like Chinese food. Because fun fact, the first night Jimmy and I got chifa, which is typical fried rice. <laughs> looks so good, top up with the omelette, looks so fancy. And we come to find out that Peruvian food is far more than just fried rice. Bring back the memory when we were in Vietnam and Korea. People love Tom, wrapping things. That was with the decorative lettuce. Well, I don't know. <laughs> that was made for decoration. Mm. If I like this food, I mean, this food is really good because I'm not a big fan of potato. So we got some mashed potato and mashed potato we mix it with yellow pepper and a few drops of lime. Apparently a very popular appetizer in Peru. It's and the, the cheesy sauce is phenomenal. Now I just gotta figure out how to make that sauce at home. Mm, have to. So good, do you know how to cook the sauce? It's really good. I'm gonna take another bite. Paulina. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Paulina, her name Paulina. is Paulina. <laughs> Just mm. fat. I want to see it. Okay. No, no, really. Muchas gracias. We're gonna try. We're gonna try with this sauce. This is non-spicy sauce, and this is a spicy. Spicy, but with a lot of flavor. Right? These are addictive. It's better than popcorn, though. Better. Before it gets cold, let's go for it. Take one stick, eat some potatoes, some corn, and you guys want to use the sauces on your meat, corn, and potato. Please, yeah. go ahead. Is this beef? Is this beef. Beef? Ooh. It's cooked perfectly. Medium rare. Yeah. I'm excited. Ooh! 10 out of 10! 
Nice. This is so good. It's super soft. Mm. This is so good. It's really good. I like it with sauce better, of course. I actually like a mix of them. See, there's a lot of black mint in it. It's really, really good. I know. I probably would have never ate that if I would have known that was heart. But <laughs> that was cow heart fermented in chicha, vinegar, and banca pepper for one night marinated and cooked. So he said the main reason they did it is because they were, it was the parts of the cow that weren't actually eaten. And then the slaves would figure out how to eat it. And they've actually taken that and they still eat it. Well, that is like back <laughs> That's like way, way, way back yeah, in the day. 17, 1600s. So it's funny, even the, even the locals are doing it. Um, this is called the Bridge of Size. So you're supposed to hold your breath, make a wish as you cross the bridge. If you can hold your breath the entire way across the bridge, you succeed and your wish will come true. So Go ahead, Jim. Let's give it a shot. Wish for our living, please. That's really nice. Not only is it safe, okay. it's a lot cooler. It's so nice to walk around. Let's see what's stuff inside. Shrimp, vegetables. cereal. Shrimp and vegetable, and then yellow pepper sauce. It's like a fried shrimp ball. Very shrimpy, but very limey. Mm. Yeah, a little bit limey. It is limey, right? Peruvian loves something sour. Peruvian loves sour, yeah. Now we're eating octopus with corn. Of course, we are in Peru, so we have corn and we have potato. Tomato, onion, yellow pepper. Yellow pepper, yeah. Cilantro. You really need to know how to cook octopus. If you overcook it, it becomes very, very rubber. Rubber bandy, yeah. right? This is actually very soft octopus. I love this one. You have to tell me the name of this sauce. All right. This is basically yellow pepper. It's got some lime, some cilantro. That's about it. Your skin for the sandbars, right? But we also eat it because it's got a lot of collagen. So what about this? What is it? What is oh, that's it cough syrup. Sorry? It smells like cough syrup. Like oh, what is it made medicine? of? Uh, no idea. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus syrup. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we're gonna see what are the ingredients he's gonna put in it. I think you guys call it flax seeds. Yeah. Which are good for the digestion, right? Mm -hmm. You just boil the flax seeds and you will get that texture. Eh, boldo. Boldo, that is a herb. We use that herb to cure any sort of inflammation. Eh, tamarindo? Tamarind, the fruit. Tamarind. This is la chia. Chia seeds. What, what kind of drink are we drinking? It's like a national drink? Oh. This is a very common drink in the Andes. Really? Some aloe. Oh, that looks so good. Remind me of the bubble tea. Well, that's Korean, right? Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh, it's Taiwanese. Uh, pollen? Some bee pollen, which is good for the allergies. And sweet. What? Uh, it's sweet. Uh, Jarabe eucalypto? Some, some, some soya sauce. <laughs> As you can eat. Yeah. Limo. Can you use that squeezer on me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can use it. <laughs> okay. The infusion, bro? Sorry. Oh, you can be closer to the herbal and fruit infusion. Warm apple cinnamon tea. Mm. This doesn't have. Whoa. 
Yeah. Whoa. It like makes you. It like. Whoa. It like cools your mouth down. What's that? The eucalyptus, maybe? Is it very minty? Yeah. That's a eucalyptus. Yeah, so the eucalyptus, but then it has like the aloe, which makes it like slimy. But it's warm and tastes sweet because of the bee honey. This is just like a whole concoction of different things. I don't even know what I feel. It's good though. You probably feel healthier. I'm not gonna be able to drink this whole thing. This one is called Emoliente. Emoliente. And this is the typical drink from MD's Mountain. That people that drink this to kill many things. There are so many medicine properties in this drink. Medicinal with property. Medicinal property in this drink, Emoliente. Honey or syrup? This is syrup. He looks so into it. That's what yeah, makes the food delicious. delicious. Alright, you know how us Americans love donuts, right? This is like the world's healthiest donut. And actually you can see these everywhere in the streets. But it's a donut made specifically with pumpkin and sweet potato. Picaron. This yeah. is what it is. It is so good. It is? You like it better than Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, I could see you eating a little bit more of these than you could a normal donut. I think these are better. You know, you could be a tourist, you could search the internet for hours, but to find the places that somebody that's living here their whole life or been living in the city for years, you'd never be able to find them all on the internet. So if you guys are interested in taking the tour, just check the description box below and we'll link the website to the tour where you can book it. Um, you don't have to worry about getting sick, you don't have to worry about anything. This is a very nice neighborhood and very, very good food.